Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can animate this clock directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. As usual, we'll go to New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. The first thing we'll do is click on Oval and add it to our page. If we right click and choose Format Shape, I can go to the Size and Properties and I'm going to choose 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. I also want to make sure it's got no fill and that the outline is a bit thicker. I'm going to go for six point for this. Just make it a bright standard blue so it's very easy to see what we're working with. I'm just going to align it to the middle of the page. And there's the outside of our clock. Now let's add the hands and then get animating. Let's do the minute hand first. We'll click on line, go from the center of our page, We'll go up to about here, as before. Six points and make it the standard bright blue color. We're also going to change the cap type to round. Now we have the minute hand, let's animate it. Because once we've done it once, it'll be really easy to duplicate it to make the other hands. And the animation type we're going to use for this is going to be a spin. But if you just add a spin to something like this on its own, watch what happens. It will always go from the center point, so we don't want that. If we add an oval, we can start here, and then if we hold down Control and Shift, you can see it will expand from the center out. That's perfect. I'm going to fill this with a very light gray so I can still see it, and give it no outline, just while we're working with it. Eventually, it will have no color at all, and then send it to the back. Now I press shift click to select the minute hand as well as this circle I have. I make sure they're fully aligned. I press control G to group. And now when I go to animation and spin, that's looking good. So now if we click once, we'll have selected the group. But if we click a second time on this gray circle, we just select the gray circle. And we can go to color and we can choose white, or in this case, because we'll have a few layered over the top of each other, I'll probably choose no fill. So when we play this, we'll have one rotation. Now we'll click here to go to the animation pane, double click, go to timing, and we'll select repeat until end of slide. And I'm going to select this, the duration, and I'm going to change this to five seconds. I'll tell you why I'll do it at five seconds in a minute. So if we play that, that should now be the minute hand. Now let's quickly duplicate to make the hour hand. So we'll click on this, control D, just drag this out of the way for a minute, just so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to click twice to make sure I've selected the hand and then just make it a bit smaller for the hour hand. That will do. And then I'm going to go to the duration on this one and change it to 59 seconds. Now you might notice this is actually the maximum duration you can have on any animation inside PowerPoint. And we'll select start to be with previous. We'll click on this. We'll align it to the middle. Excellent. There's our hour hand and our minute hand. And the reason I set it to 59 is because that's the maximum. And I set the minute hand to five seconds because 59 divided by 12, which are the hours, is a close to five seconds. It's close enough anyway. Looks good in the animation, which is what matters at the end of the day. So let's get in a second hand and then we're done. Control D again to duplicate. Just drag it out of the way, just so we can see what we're working with again. And on this one, I'm going to make it about that tall. And I'm just going to change it to make it a bit slimmer. So say 2.5 point, and I'm going to make it semi-transparent as well, 50. And this wants to animate really fast, so you could probably put it at about half a second. It doesn't really matter on this one. If you do it too fast, you won't see all the frames. So let's have a look at the speed of that. 
align it to the middle. And there we go, our animated clock, in just a few minutes directly in PowerPoint. Looks really good. Some very simple animation to get that. You can then add any graphics you like, duplicate these to use them in other presentations. It's just a really good way of understanding some of the fundamentals of animation in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one.